Hello and welcome to Implant Engineering. In this video, we will have a brief discussion about an introduction towards piping engineering. So let's begin. Before going on with the piping engineering, we shall understand some of the basic concepts that are needed to comprehend piping engineering. Let us start with the very basic one. What is a pipe? A pipe is nothing but a tubular section which is used to transfer fluids from one location to another. Fluids such as liquids, gases, slurries, powders and semi-solids. Here are few examples of pipes. The next thing is what is piping. Piping is nothing but when a pipe section is joined with different fittings such as flanges, valves, tees, reducers, elbows with proper supports, hangers, etc. is known as piping. If this piping is defined in a confined area, this is known as a piping system. Here are few examples of a piping system. Let's get it with what is piping engineering. Piping engineering is nothing but a specialized art of designing and execution of the piping in an innovative manner within the specified standard norms with cost consideration. Piping network in any plant is like a network of veins and arteries in the body. Piping engineering requires a great deal of knowledge and experience to successfully design, fabricate and install it. The goal of piping engineering is to assure a piping system is the first one specified and designed. Specified as in whenever a project is accepted, the project has some basic specification that are required to build upon. Now these specifications have to be designed properly in order for a piping system to work efficiently. Next thing is fabrication and erection. Fabrication refers to the manufacturing of certain specific components that are needed in our piping system. Erection is nothing but the installation of such fabricated piping components and pipes which are needed for a smooth flow of fluids. Inspected and tested. After the installation of the piping system, it has to be inspected for any leakages and it has to be tested for its material and strength integrity. Operated and maintained. After a, successfully, a successful test is done, it has to be operated so that it can run for a long time. It has to be maintained properly with regular inspection so that it can work for long time in the future. Now let's move on to some of the responsibilities of a piping engineer. A piping engineer has many great responsibilities. Few of them includes to meet a plant smooth operation requirement, to meet project in specified time schedule, to meet whatever the owner's requirements are there that has to be fulfilled by a piping engineer. Meet flexibility in usage. Meeting every safety norms that are needed for a smooth functioning of plant operation and as well as the workers or laborers which are involved in the operation of a successful plant. Ease of access to maintenance and use, facility of inspection, design code compliance, construction feasibility and cost efficiency. So the next thing is EPC organogram. EPC is nothing but engineering, procurement and construction. 
organogram refers to the hierarchy of a project management so at the very top of the hierarchy is project management there are three sections under this project management quality assurance engineering and hse hse is nothing but health and safety executive as you can see over here before and after the engineering section there are two other sections which have been highlighted through the imaginary lines though this indicates different departments but are considered and the under the project management itself those two are procurement and construction without procurement you cannot do engineering and without engineering you cannot do the construction before proceeding to the different sections under the engineering there is another department called the service departments service departments handles some of the miscellaneous things like documentation controls accounts hr and it all these two together work with the engineering department to give a perfect result so the different categories under the engineering sections are process piping civil mechanical electrical instrumentations and others such as automation and control we here in implant engineering will be focusing on piping engineering the very last concept of our video is the scope of piping engineering pipes are quite elementary in our day to day needs and to industries such as oil and gas power plants construction manufacturing pharmaceuticals etc there is always a need for a trained and skilled piping engineers who can support the design implementation and maintenance of complex and large scale piping systems for these industries thank you for watching our video do share subscribe and like to our video for more such updates click on the bell icon